how the Pope's body is embalmed according to science. The embalming of Pope Pius XII in 1958 was a disaster. Papal physician Riccardo Galeazzi Lisi handled the process. He believed he had found the method used to preserve Jesus' body. The Pope's body wasn't kept cool or drained of fluids. Instead, Galeazzi Lisi placed Pius XII in a plastic bag. He added herbs, spices, oils, and resins. This dramatically accelerated the putrefaction process. The Swiss Guard standing watch couldn't handle the smell. They had to be rotated every 15 minutes. Since then, the embalmers have followed a standard process. The body is washed to remove bacteria on the surface. As the muscles stiffen after death, the body becomes rigid. The jaw forces the mouth open, so the mortician wires the jaw shut. The eyes are closed with plastic eye caps. Pieces of cotton might also be tucked into the jaw. This helps build up a relaxed expression. The body is sometimes massaged to loosen the muscles. Then, the deceased is arranged into a reclining position. The mortician makes an incision above the collarbone. They pull out the carotid and jugular arteries. The blood vessels are then cut open. They are connected to an embalming machine. It pumps an embalming fluid through the carotid artery. The blood is pushed out of the jugular. This liquid is a mixture of preserving agents. It contains formaldehyde and alcohol. Dyes in the mixture give the body a more lifelike color. A large needle-like vacuum is inserted into the abdomen. It's used to extract fluid and intestinal contents. Then, more embalming liquid is pumped inside. This helps remove microbes that would break down the body. Historically, the organs of the dead pope were removed. They were embalmed separately to create religious relics. However, no pope has had their organs removed since 1903. It was ruled that the pope's body must stay intact. It's even forbidden for the pope to donate his organs. All of the incisions are sealed. The body is then washed and prepared for presentation. The pope's body is dressed in red robes. A white mitre is put on his head. He is then taken to St. Peter's Basilica. There, he lies in state for three days. Three caskets had traditionally been used for burying popes. They created an airtight seal around the late pontiff's body. They also allowed for objects to be buried with the body. The pope's body does not always stay buried in one place. On some occasions, it'll be brought out. It'll be displayed for veneration or moved to a new tomb. This can occur if the deceased pope becomes a saint. A lack of decay is taken as a sign of divine intervention. This can strengthen the case for canonizing a former pope. 